Welcome to Make It Take It. I'm DC. I was 2-0 in college basketball, my last video out, and my Super Bowl plays didn't come out. That ends my NFL season at just over 57.5%, down from 62% last year. I had an amazing NFL year last year. When I look at my college basketball numbers at this point, last year I was 59.2% in college basketball, 75 and 51. This year I'm already 77 and 78. That just tells me I'm taking way too many games. So I'm going to cool off some on that. i got to play it more conservative. That's my way to spin it, not just throw up a bunch of games and try to have more winners. It's being more selective. So getting back into that mind frame, come today, I'm going to tell you about some of the college basketball games that I like, and I have an NBA play that I really like today. So college basketball, Texas A&M at Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt has been terrible in conference play and not too well overall. I think they have six wins, and Texas A&M is a really good team. They have a nice record. They're four and three on the road. I took them on their last road game, and it came out for me. I'm going to take Texas A&M, but I'm going to tease them down to four. Vanderbilt's really bad on offense. Their offensive percentage is 66.5%. No, 66.6%. Stay away from the devil. I'm taking Texas A&M in the name of the Lord today on the first leg of my tease, and I'm going to close that with Baylor taking them down to minus two against Oklahoma. I think they're a better team. I like going against the 25th ranked team. Uh, whoever's like newly ranked 25 or whoever's ranked 25, there's nothing scientific behind that. It's just something that I have a superstition on. And Oklahoma sits at 25 now. This is a tough Big 12 matchup. But Baylor's just coming off this loss to Kansas. And Baylor's one of the best teams in the country. They're 9-1 in the last 10 against Oklahoma taking Baylor. So it's going to be a Texas A&M minus four, Baylor minus two, and I need your guys' opinion on this New Mexico-Nevada game. Tough Mountain West game. I'm leaning Nevada. They're a two-point favorite right now, and they had that big, long winning streak against New Mexico that New Mexico snapped earlier this year. They beat them by 34. They beat Nevada by 34, and Nevada still comes back as a two-point favorite. This series is just crazy. But remember, like I said before, a lot of those New Mexico games weren't at the pit because they were playing at some neutral site for two years during COVID because New Mexico apparently had really stringent um, you know, rules during COVID. So they weren't playing at the pit. This, that was one of their first games against Nevada at the pit. So it makes sense. Again, lean to Nevada. Let me know if you like New Mexico or Nevada. NBA, I look at this Boston-Brooklyn game. And Derek White sticks out to me because I had my eye on him lately. He's the kind of guy that I either scores 22 points or 8 points. It doesn't seem any in between, but he throws up a lot of threes. And BK has the 24th ranked team against the three-pointer this year. Now, in the last, well, how many was it? Seven? Four of seven games, Derek White's gone over four three-pointers. The last two games, he's had zero. None in the last two games, but he still throws them up. So I'm taking Derek White over two and a half three pointers today against Brooklyn. Those are my plays for today. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have a Mountain West opinion. Thank you for watching. Good luck today.